Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, Miri Sheffer Mossenzon. I'm from the Department of Middle Eastern and African History here at uh, Tel Aviv University. Um, it is my honor to chair the session immediately after the keynote uh, speech, and it's certainly a privilege uh, to chair a panel which features uh, three doctoral students, so it means that our future, at least our academic future, is uh, very promising. Um, and um, we have three speakers. They will speak uh, one after the other. I will introduce him or her um, as they come here and speak. And then uh, we'll have a Q&A session. And, um, I would like to ask all the speakers uh, to speak for 20 minutes, so it means we have 30 minutes of uh, meaningful uh, discussion. So the first to come is uh, Hagai Rubinstein. Um, Hagai is a PhD student here at the uh, School of History at uh, Tel Aviv University. His background is in Middle Eastern studies from uh, Be'er Sheva. His thesis was on the formation of the Muslim community in Chile, and his current doctoral project is Diaspora, Transnationality, and the Chilean-Palestinian Identity. Hagai, please. Thank you. Uh, I would like uh, to start by wishing our Muslim, fr Muslim friends Eid uh, Mubarak Wasaid. Uh, secondly, I would like to uh, thank the Tissel Foundation, the Daniel Abraham Center, and the Abbott School of History uh, for supporting uh, my research, uh, which this paper is based on. Today, the size of the Chilean Palestinian community is at the center of a debate. Many voices from the community uh, insist that uh, Colonia Palestina has around half a million immigrants and descendants. On the other side, there are academic researchers with a more uh, moderate number of 200,000. Between those two numbers, it can be said that the presence of Palest Palestinian ethnicity in Chile cannot be disputed. Throughout the last century, immigrants from the Middle East became an integral part of it of Chilean society. The Palestinians uh, are the majority uh, of the Arab uh, immigration uh, to Chile, and uh, in present time, there are at least 10 different organizations and social groups who represent them. In this, in this paper, I will focus on 1948 war, uh, which is referred to by the Palestinians as the Nakba, the catastrophe in Arabic. I argue that uh, 1948 is a focal point in the definition of Chilean uh, from Palestinian origin uh, as Chilean Palestinians. The uncertainties about the place of the Chilenidad in their identity before 1948 were resolved, and the Palestinian, uh, the Palestinianness was fortified uh, um, in their uh, self-definition. During that period of time, uh, Palestine was uh, reconstructed uh, by the Chilean Palestinians as the mother homeland, and uh, Chile as a homeland. Um, the internal debate within the Palestinian collective during that, period, uh, dur during that period underlines the importance of 1948 uh, in the self-definition of Palestinian immigrants. Uh, excuse me. During that period, the internal debate within the Palestinian collective during that period, du during that period underlines the importance of 1948 in the self-definition of Palestinian immigrants and their second generation. Focusing on that time undercovers the structure of the trans transnational identity of, Chil of Chilean Palestinians. Uh, that the, pa the Palestinians are, uh, pal the, excuse me, uh, that the, they are Palestinian by heart, but Chilean by soul. The Arabs that immigrated to Chile from the Middle East came from Bilad Sham, also known as Great Syria, that is today divided between Syria, Israel, and Lebanon. Until the British mandate, the population of this area uh, belonged to several different administrative districts of the Ottoman Empire. 
the, Palestine, the, the Palestinians emigrated from a few specific villages, most of them from Bejala, Bet Sahur, and Bethlehem. We can see here in that map. Uh, however, the, there was a migration also from Enkarem, Taibe, Ramallah, and Jerusalem. The first to emigrate before the end of the 19th century uh, were young men from agriculture uh, sectors. The immigration was an instrument for economic improvement uh, with the intention to gain wealth and return to the homeland in different uh, status and perhaps change the life of the families that stayed behind. Uh, for others, the trip to the West was a way to flee the mandatory enrollment of the Ottoman Empire, in which the Christians were sent to the first lines of combat to be used as cannon fodders. Two main communes district uh, in Santiago were the destination of the settlement, Patronato and Recoleta. We can see this is uh, Santiago de Chile in present. Uh, Recoleta is here, Patronato should be around here, and the most of Santiago wasn't uh, existing at that time. Uh, those areas were, were characterized as uh, immigrant districts, part of the periphery of Santiago Centro, that is around here. Uh, and they were also known as uh, en el otro lado del rio, on the other side of the river. And in some ways, the Palestinians were also on the other side, speaking very different language, wearing weird clothes, and being Christian Orthodox. At that time, they were called by Chilean population Turcos, derived from the passport issued by the uh, Ottoman Empire. Later, later on, in the second decade of the 20th century, the Arabs in Chile were uh, under the influence of two important processes. The first was the consolidation of the immigrants on the financial aspect. Uh, the other was the understanding of the changes occurring in the Middle East. Their, ho their homeland was affected greatly by World War I and the Balfour Declaration. The future of an Arab Palestine was unclear as seen from Chile, and the division of the Middle East by the Treaty of Lausanne crystallized the presentation of the, their homeland in the eyes of the Arabs, uh, the Arab collective in Chile. At the same time, the British mandate of, of, over Palestine caused a change in the legal status of, of the immigrants. Until then, the Ottoman passports were valid and could be used to uh, ask for residency or to travel back home. <clears throat> uh, for the first time, the Palestinians in Chile had to be asked to be recognized as Palestinians. The struggle for new, new, the new recognition uh, brought uh, the Palestinianness to the uh, conscious level of the public uh, discussion. This was uh, based on the bureaucratic process that occurred in uh, Chile during the 30s uh, by the implementation of the uh, law of residency. Uh, here on the right, we can see um, a publication in Mundo Arabe, one of the papers of the community. Uh, letting the, the Arabs know about uh, uh, the situation. At the same time, uh, newspaper ri newspapers written by members of the community marked the formation of a distinct uh, Palestinian identity in Chile. Dozens of news newspapers were published by Arab immigrants. Both uh, Watan and Ashag were published during the 20s and had the dominant line in fortifying the, Palesti the Palestinian identity. News from the homeland, community uh, events, and articles discussing Palestinianness composed a new discourse that balanced the two homelands. Palestine was becoming the mother homeland and Chile the homeland. A similar process occurred by, in the Syrian and Lebanese diasporas in Chile, uh, partly on account of the division of the Middle East issued by uh, the European uh, countries. We can see two articles. Uh, the first one, Ruh Hashab Fi Palestine, uh, the spirit of uh, of the people in Palestine and Aruha uh, Watani fil Mahja. It's the uh, the spirit of the uh, uh, the homeland uh, in the West. This article is about Argentina. Uh, until the mid 40s, the socio-economic uh, mobility of the Arab immigrants and their descendants brought them to participate as equals in the Chilean society. In the industry, Chilean Palestinians found their spot. Uh, at the top, especially five Palestinian families in the field of textile, uh, Jarur, Hirmas, uh, Zarur, Said, and Sumar. In the late 40s, the state of emergency in Palestine encountered the Chilean Palestinians in the prime of their integration. 
Many politicians, businessmen, academics, doctors, uh, and lawyers were Palestinian immigrants or Palestinian descendants. The Palestinian identity had its place in the local, uh, the local social atmosphere. Uh, this ethnic group had lost the Sudan status. The plans to go back uh, to the mother homeland were long gone, um, as uh, the, the general status of the community in Chile continued to rise. In addition, the, the conditions in the Middle East were not uh, welcoming, and I say that, of course, in uh, an understatement. Uh, one of the leaders of the Federación Palestina described, described the impact of the news uh, on the immigrants and how the second generation was affected by that. I remember it very strongly. Me and my brothers were witnesses to the suffering of our parents. For them, it was a catastrophe, as it called in Arabic, Nakba. It remained buried to my, to my mind, the image of the tents of the refugees, and we knew that each tent belonged to the family. We, we were not fed with stories. They were refugees. Uh, they did not left voluntarily. The term al Qaeda al Palestinia, the Palestinian cause, was not common at that time, but the formation of this concept could be identified. As at the end of the 40s, the Chilean Palestinians are called to take part defending the original homeland. Uh, this, was, uh, this was made in different mediums. Uh, a delegation uh, to Chile, uh, arrived to Chile in 1948. The representative of Syria, Lebanon, uh, Lebanon and uh, the High Committee of uh, Palestine met with group of, groups of uh, Arab immigrants in order to promote support uh, to the people in the Middle East. The delegation was accept, expected with great excitement, and uh, meetings were arranged along uh, the length of Chile. Here on the right, we can see uh, Nazal Malouf, uh, the representative of uh, Palestine, with the uh, representatives of uh, Syria and Lebanon. Um, yet at the same time, a great donation was made by the uh, Central Arab Committee of Chile to build emergency housing in Chile. In parallel, in parallel to the struggle of Palestine uh, for uh, resources, the Palestinian, the Palestinian immigrants and their descendants were concerned about continuing the integration in Chile by trying to leave a positive impact on the, uh, on the Chilean society. Another uh, example for the growing distance between Palestine and its diaspora in Chile are the telegrams sent on, sent on behalf of uh, Palestinian figures in order to achieve support. But it seems that the Chilean Palestinians uh, there uh, weren't, uh, but it seems that for the Chilean Palestinians there wasn't great difference between the different uh, leaders. Both uh, Husseini and uh, Kaukaji were uh, referred as equals, although in Palestine those two were political rivals and the public in Palestine uh, was divided in some, in some way by this rivalry. Additionally, volunteers were called to help and participate in the defense of the Holy Land. Here is, we see the two, uh, one of the two callings uh, for uh, volunteers to go uh, to help Palestine. This is uh, uh, on behalf of the Red Cross, and this is just to go and uh, give a hand. Uh, however, the young Chilean Palestinians were not motivated to take extreme measures like traveling to the Middle East and fight for Palestine. Instead, the community uh, helped with financial aid and diplomatic pressure. One example is the action of uh, Alejandro Hales Dib, which later became an important politician, uh, who sent an, uh, to the president of the Republic a petition as the head of the Arabic Student uh, Association of Chile. The, the petition demanded to support uh, the support of Chile in the Palestinian cause. The professional, professionalization of the football team Deportivo Palestino at that time underlines the fusion of Palestinian ethnicity with the local social structure. In this video, we can see the uh, testimony of one of uh, the leaders of this, this initiative and I will let it speak for itself. If 
1947. Yo nací el 33, tenía la sazón 14 años y me enteré de la partición de Palestina en que un grupo de naciones se cree con la capacidad moral y jurídica de tomar un territorio en el mapa y arbitrariamente dividirlo y adjudicarlo con una arbitrariedad absoluta. Y yo me entero en mis jóvenes 14 años de que parientes míos que entonces vivían allá habían sido brutalmente despojados de sus tierras, de sus hogares y condenados al exilio. Nos pusimos a pensar, ¿qué hacemos? ¿Lamentarnos? ¿Quejarnos? No, había que actuar. Había varias maneras de actuar. Una, el periodismo. Surgió el periódico Mundo Árabe, editado por Jorge Sabah Suró. A eso se sumó un programa de radio que se llamaba El Clarín de la Patria, conducido por Raúl Abufele Halabi. Pero dijimos, todo esto es muy bueno, pero nos falta algo, algo que aglutine, que convoque multitudes, que sea capaz de penetrar la sensibilidad y llegar hasta el subconsciente de muchas personas. Y como éramos todos no futbolistas, futbolizados, practicábamos el fútbol, éramos fanáticos del fútbol, ¿eh? todos lo, lo jugábamos, dijimos, si la colonia italiana tiene a Audax italiano, varias veces campeón, si la colonia española tiene a Unión Española, también varias veces campeón, ¿Por qué la colonia palestina, que es tanto más numerosa y fuerte que aquellas dos, no puede tener su propio club de fútbol? The mentioned choices of actions reflected two impacts on the Palestinians in Chile until that time. The, the, the Palestinians, uh, the, the Palestinianness relevance rose, especially in the shade of the war in the Middle East. But at the same time, most of them were integrated and practically Chilean. The mother homeland and the homeland became completing elements in their identity and not competing, as one can think. The refugees that arrived after the war of 48 were the last wave of immigration to Palestine, uh, from Palestine to Chile. Their presence had an effect of reinforcement to the Palestinians, and the stories uh, of war of the war back home uh, had this, uh, a role in this case. We arrived to La Calera. Uh, the Hadwe family was great, was great to death from, uh, from the one in Los Andes. We were expected with lamb, lamb meat, fresh bread and rice. Around 200 men and women were gathered uh, for three days uh, feast. Some, uh, some things uh, unforgettable. Relatives uh, arrived to La Calera to see us. We brought them news, letters, and olive oil, of course, from Palestine. <clears throat> In this brief presentation of Chilean case of the Palestinian diaspora, it could be observed that the two identities, uh, the, the two identities, the Chilean and the Palestinian, evolved simultane simultaneously. The integration to Chile's uh, society alongside uh, what is referred in some studies as hyper-expression of identity concerning the Palestinian one uh, were both instrument in this evolution. The concept of two homelands that are combined in a transnational identity frames the steps the Chilean uh, Palestinians took in imagining themselves and their community. After they discovered uh, their Palestinian origins, origins they were, uh, there was too much to lose in Chile. And for the descendants, the Chilenidad was part of their uh, self-definition. The Chilean Palestinians were in fact Chileans. Uh, by focusing on the 1948 war, uh, we can pinpoint a, a key moment in which the ethnicity of this group was challenged. Despite uh, their uh, Palestinian origin, the Chilenidad uh, was marked as a dominant element. Uh, the, Im the imagination of Palestine as a mother homeland gave a frame of meaning uh, to those uh, who saw this themselves as uh, Palestinians. But the Chilean homeland was the tangible uh, was the tangible homeland. Thank you.